My name is Matt Walker. I'm the Director of College Relations and Professional Recruitment with Rite Aid Pharmacies. Uh, I'm responsible for the territory between Louisiana and Delaware on the East Coast. I have a team of four recruiters that work with me to make sure that we have people placed into the correct positions once they graduate. So Rite Aid is one of the nation's largest retail healthcare companies. Uh, we provide services uh, such as prescription filling and clinical services to patients in the uh, places where we operate in approximately 4,600 locations. Rite Aid's a great career destination because we have numerous ways for people to use their degree once they get out of pharmacy school. Uh, my example is one where I started out as a pharmacist, became a pharmacy manager, went into regional management, and now into recruiting pharmacists to come to work for us. So if you have uh, various ways that you want to use your career and your education, we have places for you to do that. My biggest piece of advice uh, for people who are coming through the interview process is really to be themselves. I think when people go into the interview process, they get so caught up on what they think people want to hear, they forget to express themselves. And so the point that they're trying to get across gets lost in all the noise. My advice for students on what not to do would be not to disappear after the interview process. I think one thing that gets lost in the process is follow-up. Uh, we on the corporate and community side will be in touch with candidates after interviews, but it's always a good idea for the candidates to follow up with their potential employers to express their interest. Three qualities I would look for in a candidate would A, be uh, the ability to communicate very well. Uh, once you graduate and get into those positions, we really need you to be the public face of our company. We need you to be able to communicate your education and your skills to those people when they come in. I also need, the, uh, need to be flexible. Um, as the job market grows and evolves, we're going to have a lot of different opportunities in ge different geographic areas. Uh, you'll need to be flexible to get yourself into those opportunities as they arise. And we also need uh, for you to be able to work as part of a team. Uh, as we continue to grow into more clinical services, you're going to be working more closely with physicians and nurse practitioners, other members of the healthcare community, so you're going to have to be able to navigate that to be able to be successful. I think the, the thing that people are least prepared for in that interview process, when I ask them the question, tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, people get so caught up in, again, what people want to hear, what the message needs to be. The interview process is about a two-way piece of communication. I'm asking you about yourself. You're interviewing me about the job that you're going to have. So you need to get across that information about uh, how well you're going to work with me and how well I'm going to work with you. So be prepared just to tell me about yourself. Let your personality and your communication skills shine through. Uh, the piece of advice that I would give any student who's coming out of school is to make sure that they take advantage of any opportunity for growth and development that's put in front of them. Uh, as you graduate and you move into the job market, you're going to need to market yourself and market your skills and anything that you can pick up along the way that's going to make you stand out and make you a little bit different from your neighbor is going to be that thing that's going to make you just a little bit more successful.